Chris Hahn, the aggressive progressive, is here with us. And I'm sure you have some thoughts, not all of which are agreeing with me, Chris. No, I mean, look, what he's saying is he's trying to set up the choice for the midterm election, right? If it's a referendum on what the economy is doing right now, Democrats are doomed. If it's a choice between Biden or Ultra Mag, I think they got to rework the name. I, I mean, I think of Michelob Ultra, which is a light beer. Ultra Mag, you want to have it like Extreme Maga or something like that. They got to work it out, uh, and they will, I think, by September when they really start campaigning. Well, they really but you got to set up okay. a choice right now, you know. And, and I think that's what the president is trying to do, a little clumsily, I would add. But he's trying to do that. I think that's a good thing politically. As for the deal making, I hear you. He was elected to make deals, and he did make one very significant deal on the bipartisan yeah. infrastructure deal that he cut last year. But I think the time for deal making right now is on hold. I don't think the Republicans would make a deal with him right now if they gave him ninety percent of what they wanted. Oh, come on, you don't you don't so, think you don't think I there mean, could be a deal? You don't think there could be a deal? Uh, the Keystone Pipeline and drilling in Anwar in exchange for uh, prescription drugs. You could make that deal. No, I don't think they'd make a single deal that would make Biden and the Democrats look reasonable in any way, shape, or form to their voters. They want to they want to get their base amped up. Biden wants to get his base amped up. The Supreme Court did him a favor last week with that leak. Yeah, it's a wedge see. issue that Democrats can win on, and he has to make it. They have to set it up right now. I've been looking at the data, man. I've been looking at polling for the last three weeks on a variety of issues. And if Democrats don't make it a choice, they lose. And if you paint them as extreme, as, as I've seen in polling, you they lose that center. They lose that okay, so, swing. So the, the it, doesn't look, it doesn't mean that... But right, but the, the flip side of this is the Democrats will hold everything. But right, they, no, but the flip side is you really, you, you really, you really alienate the swing voters that that came over to President Biden uh, as candidate Biden because he wasn't Trump, he wasn't crazy, he wasn't mean, he didn't wasn't extreme. How is this not exactly like uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama? Take a listen. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> They feel so betrayed by government. Well, it's not surprising then that they get better than they claim to guns or religion. He's avoided it up until now. Was this intentional or is this just a gaffe? So, hey, look. I've seen this play before, right? In 2010, they said, Obama promised us hope and change, and what has he done? He's divided America. And they're using the same playbook on Biden. I it think worked. Biden and Democrats have to push. It did. And I think Biden and the Democrats have to push back, maybe double down okay. on the fact that the other side is extreme. I don't think Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama did it enough. In fact, when those clips came out, they ran away from it. No. I think Biden and Democrats have to paint the Republicans as Trump extremists. And they're doing them a favor by electing so, Trump extremists in primaries. So well, it's going to be a very interesting year. We're getting to the primaries in a minute, and you're right. The President Trump's influence on the primaries is a lot more than anybody thought to. But if this is coordinated, right, if this is doubling down, first it's MAGA's most extreme political movement. Now it's ultra MAGA. Uh, soon it'll be whatever uh, MAGA beer you uh, personally enjoy and come up with in the focus groups. Why did Jen Psaki run away from it today? Because I don't think it was ready to be rolled out. I think it's still in the early phases. It's why you got a name like ultra MAGA. Uh, I do think that the Democratic strategy needs to be very clear. Here is the choice. Do you want those people who raided the Capitol? Do you want those extremists who are going to take away choice and the right to privacy in America? Or do you want Biden or do you want Democrats or do you want this particular candidate? It can't really be about Biden, actually. No, no, if it's, if it it's, if it's a referendum. Specific people in the races. If it's a referendum, it's over. You lose. There, there is one president, though, who survived in one reelection. Uh, despite horrible inflation numbers in the first couple of years of office. That was Ronald Reagan. Uh, and here was a question almost exactly like the one asked of President Biden by CNN, Sam Donaldson, then of ABC. Take a listen. Mr. President, in talking about the continuing recession tonight, you have blamed mistakes of the past, and you have blamed the Congress. Does any of the blame belong to you? Yes, because for many years I was a Democrat. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> well, look, man, there was no better communicator than yeah. Ronald Reagan, and that was a great line. It, 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 it didn't answer the question, 
But he, he wanted you want to know if he had any blame as president, and no president really does that. It takes the blame. I think, look, we'll see where we are two years from now for the reelection. But again, the choice is going to be clear in November. No, it, and I think the Democrats are setting that up right now. And I think that stems some of this red tsunami people have been talking about. I don't think it saves everything. Right, I, no, I, I think we, the Democrats we can go, lose we can go back and forth on the this. Senate. One of the other things that President Biden was elected on was, was again, bringing back normal, but also bringing back truth, right? You and I had a lot of debates uh, in my former network about whether or not President Trump at the time was telling the truth. Uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, right. the new White House press secretary, among her tweets, Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. There's no evidence of that. Stolen emails, stolen drones, stolen election. Welcome to the world of President Trump. That was in 2016, saying he stole the election. Uh, there's also some real issues about her and how she uh, sees the Jewish lobby uh, in America. Again, why pick somebody that is so divisive even to the center? Well, full disclosure, she is from Long Island, as am I. And people who grow up on Long Island mm -hmm. can do anything. So good <laughs> and no luck. wrong? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying she can do no wrong, but God, please don't look at my old tweets. I'm sure All I right. said a lot of dumb things. Maybe even, you know, some things about people I like. I won't go back too far in the way back machine about what you said about me. <laughs> good to see you, my friend. Nice to see yeah, you too, man. Thank you. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.